You were looking at evidence of former communist rule here in Hungary. Russia built those uh, solid uh, cement buildings that you see in the distance. Well, hello and welcome to Budapest. Now, I have a fishing story to tell you, and you're going to think it's quite not true, but let me promise you, it is true. You are just looking at Buda. Now, right behind me is Pest. In 1873, the two came together to be known as Budapest, right? It is quite interesting. I thought that was a fishing story, but it is true. The two were separated by the River Danube. And um, as you have, you've been hearing a lot in the news lately about that river. It has been flooding. And right now, we stand on an island right in the middle of the river. Um, the island is called Margaret. Now, take a look at Margaret for a few moments. Uh, not a lot of people know about Budapest, and a lot of people sure don't know about this island, Margaret. And it is quite, it's springtime here and people are all about playing in the park. Now when I was walking around the island yesterday, I couldn't help but smile at some things that I saw. One of the interesting things that I saw were couples everywhere. There was uh, young couples in their teens and then couples in their 20s with their newborn babies. And there were also couples in their 60s and 70s and 80s. And it seemed like every one of them was trying to sneak a kiss in the bushes. Now, I couldn't help but think that was a little bit cute, right? And I don't know if I can use that word cute on camera, but I just did. How about that, right? Um, the Danube River has been in the news a lot lately as flooding. Um, this, this island ha was under a flood watch not too long ago. Um, the river is four meters above what it normally is at this time of year. Um, and you can see the impromptu lake that we have set up out there that uh, formed because of all of the, all of the rainwater that was here. Um, Budapest, not, like I said, not a lot of people know about it. It's one of the largest cities in the European Union, and it is the capital of Hungary. With that said, keeping with our legend of never staying in one place too long, tonight we leave for Berlin, and that's where my next report will be coming to you from. But until then, this is Gunnar Larsen coming to you from Budapest, Hungary.